Hello there. Today, we will be talking about the DuPont disaggregation analysis. The DuPont disaggregation analysis has this equation, the DuPont equation. That is the formula that shows that the rate of return on equity can be found as a product of profit margin, total assets turnover, and the equity multiplier. It shows the relationships among asset management, financial leverage management, and profitability ratios. This aggregation of return on equity was initially introduced by IE DuPont Nemour and Company to help its managers in performance evaluation. The basic DuPont model disaggregates ROE as follows. Return on equity is equal to the net income divided by the average stockholders equity or is equal to net income divided by the sales times sales divided by average total assets times average total assets divided by average stockholders equity. These three components are described as follows. First, the com first component is the profit margin. A profit margin is the amount of profit that the company earns from each peso of sales. A company can increase its profit margin by increasing its gross profit margin and or by reducing its expenses other than cost of sales as a percentage of sales. The second component is the asset turnover. Asset turnover is a productivity measure that reflects the volume of sales that a company generates from each peso invested in assets. A company can increase its asset turnover by increasing sales volume with no increase in assets and or by reducing asset investment without reducing sales. The third component is financial leverage. Financial leverage measures the degree to which the company finances its assets with debt rather than equity. Increasing the percentage of debt relative to equity increases the financial leverage. Although financial leverage increases ROE when performance is positive, debt must be used with care as it increases the company's relative riskiness. The profit margin and asset turnover relates the company operations and combine to yield on assets ROE. So assets ROA or return on assets as follows. ROA is equal to the net income divided by the average total assets is equal to the net income divided by sales times sales divided by average total assets. Return on assets or ROE, ROA measures the return on investment for the company without regard to how it is financed, the relative proportion of debt and equity in its capital structure. Operating managers of a company typically crafts the income statement. They readily understand the pricing of products, the management of production costs, and importance of controlling overhead costs. However, many managers do not appreciate the importance of managing the statement of financial position. Now, the ROA approach to performance measurement encourages managers to also focus on the returns that they achieve from the invested capital 
under their control. These returns are maximized by a joint focus on both profitability and productivity. Profitability is measured by the profit margin. That is net income divided by sales. Analysis of profitability typically examines performance over time relative to benchmarks such as competitors or industry performance, which highlight trends and abnormalities. When abnormal performance is discovered, managers either correct suboptimal performance or protect superior performance. The two general areas of profitability analysis are the gross profit margin and the expense management. The gross profit margin measures the gross profit, that sales less cost of goods sold for each sale. Gross profit margin is affected by both the selling prices of products and their manufacturing cost. Expense management, here managers focus on reducing manufacturing and administrative overhead expenses to increase profitability. Manufacturing overhead refers to all production expenses. Example, utilities, depreciation, and administrative costs other than labor and materials. Administrative overhead refers to all expenses not in cost of goods sold. Example, administrative salaries and benefits, research and development, marketing, legal and accounting. Productivity refers to the volume of sales resulting from invested in assets. When a decline in productivity is observed, managers have two avenues of attack. Increase in sales volume from the existing asset base and decrease the investment in assets without reducing sales volume. Okay, so that's all for the DuPont uh, analysis. I hope you learned something from this video. All right, so again, uh, Thank you for watching.